Then the design stage. So basically, once the solution has been defined, the design team is involved to come up with a, the design prototype. A design prototype basically aims to showcase what the final product would look like. It's uh, designed to look and feel as real as possible, but in the end, it's, it's just pictures, pictures stitched together to give the illusion that it's a product. And with this, you can validate the product idea already with real users. You get early feedback before you invest even more time and effort into building, building it. Then the development stage, that's basically based on the design prototype, the engineering team plans development and implements the product. And usually uh, in Agile, one, one cycle of development can be two weeks, four weeks, sometimes one week, but usually it is between one week and four weeks. And the difference is just uh, depending on how long a sprint is, uh, you reduce overhead. So imagine you had one week sprints, that means you need to plan the sprint, you need to execute the sprint. Uh, there's like a lot of meetings that you have just to, just to plan the work that is going to be done in one week of development. So then you would say, okay, let's, let's do, do a longer sprint cycle. A longer development period, let's say we do four weeks, but then you're locked in with what you planned to develop for four weeks. And uh, sometimes that's too long. Like if an urgent bug or an urgent feature comes up, you don't want to wait four weeks uh, for you to be able to plan it and slot it in. So companies try to find the sweet spot between, between those one and four weeks, whatever works best for them. And also important to note, I was now mentioning mostly it's about like new products or new features. But usually uh, in the amount of work that is planned for one of these sprints, you also have like, tasks or bug fixes, small improvements that also come up during the development of, of any product, uh, any improvement that you plan. So after development, it goes into testing. So where the QA team or whoever in your company is responsible for testing, then make sure that the product is bug free. And then it goes to launching. So Launching is where then you collaborate with your product launch team or marketing team or whoever is responsible for launching in your company, uh, creating all the assets, the marketing plan, anything that is needed to bring out the product. Uh, and then you bring it to market. And that's the moment where actual users are going to use it. Uh, and you can then learn. You can look into the data. You can talk to your actual customers who are using it. And what, then, what will then happen is that any assumption that you had made about the product, uh, how you wanted to continue developing it, how you wanted to improve it, probably some of those will be confirmed, will be true, and that just confirms your direction and you can move forward with more confidence. But you will also probably learn new things that you didn't expect about how your users are using the product. And then that gives you a new input on how you might want to reprioritize uh, things or how you actually want to change some of your requirements. And then you go into the next cycle and the next cycle and you continue doing it. And basically uh, the, over the whole lifetime of a product, uh, you will continue doing that. So until uh, or unless someone actually decides to kill a product, uh, a product is never complete. There's always things that you can do to continue improving it.